Okay, okay. Mm -mm -mm. Still not working. All right. So let's check where they should go for the image. Okay. Part I didn't really notice it was part one. Oh, so one day you find more pass through one shot. Eh, only to, for notice to attract your attention. So, what noise? Yeah, I'm glad I didn't have any daily commissions there those days. Okay, your okay, safe was up here. Ah, good. So you wouldn't auto start. More quests should be like that. Wang Shu in now hiring. Urgently mm -hmm. seeking one temporary chef willing to pay top Mora salary negotiable. Look, traveler, an urgent hiring notice, and they're paying top. Oh, Paimon likes the sound of that. Strange, why would one should instantly need a new chef? Hmm, you're right, it it's is temporary. strange. Do you think something happened to Yen Xiao? Cause that guy barely lets anyone ever set foot in his kitchen. Doesn't exactly seem like the type to hire help. It's the temporary. The says interested parties should go upstairs and talk to the innkeeper Huayan. Should we go and see what's up? You want to check up on Yan Xiao? Uh, you want to check out how much the job pays, don't you? Uh, well, that and to check up on Yan Xiao, of course. It could just be on vacation. It's temporary. <sighs> or maybe an event. Boss, uh, there's really no need for this. It's just a little burn, that's all. It won't get in the way of my work. Perhaps not, but continuing to work will only hinder your recovery. You need to rest for a few days. We'll figure something out. Huayan! Yan Xiao! Oh? Traveler and Paimon! What brings you to this neck of the woods? We saw your hurrying notice downstairs. And we decided to come check out... Um... Check up on Yan Xiao. Uh, I knew we shouldn't have posted that notice. It's really nothing to worry about. I'm fine. I swear. How kind of you. My thanks to you both. And thanks on Yan Xiao's behalf, too. There's nothing to be embarrassed about, Yan Xiao. Just tell them what happened. Oh, all right. Well, basically, we had a lot of guests pouring in for the lantern right. Things got busy, I started rushing, and I ended up accidentally burning my hand while plating a dish. That doesn't sound like you. Well, you know what they say. Play with fire long enough and you're bound to get burned. E even the best chefs slip up sometimes. A anyway, it's nothing, uh, just a tiny burn. I can still... Now, now, I don't want you pushing yourself. You'll only make it worse. And then you'll be looking at more than just a couple of days off to recover. But the Lantern Rite's only just finished. And we're still getting tons of guests. Now's not a good time for me to rest. B uh, plus, lots of the guests are visiting from other nations. We can't just bring in some random chef off the street. We have a reputation to uphold. I, I refuse to let someone else ruin the good name we've made for ourselves here. <laughs> Listen to you. Anyone would think that you're the boss and not me. But he's not wrong. Yan Xiao was one of the favorites in the Masterful Chefs Tournament. No matter how you look at it, his are big boots to fill. I don't mean to boast, but any chef of my caliber probably has their own restaurant to look after. It's not going to be easy to find someone who's got the skills and has the time to help us out. You're looking down. Looks like we might have to increase the pay we're offering even further. Hmm. Do we know anyone that's a good chef and has the time to help out? Whoever could it be? Sometimes the answer you're looking for is right under your nose. Oh, of course, you! Oh, right. 
Yes, now I think about it. I do recall hearing good things about your cooking ability. I suppose I'd added you to my mental list of people who can hold their own in a combat situation, but forgot you can cook. Um, why are you even keeping a mental list of people who can fight? Because you fight for him every now and then. <laughs> Maybe a story for another time. More importantly, I'm sure Yan Shao would be comfortable leaving his kitchen in your hands, if anyone's. What do you think, Yan Shao? Well, since it's you, I suppose that's better than anyone else. What do you think, Traveler? Should we do it? Yeah, you say something about increasing pay. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the Yan Shao lose his kitchen. <laughs> I did say that, didn't I? Well, I'm a man of my word. You'll be compensated generously for your work. I should warn you that cooking for customers is quite a different ballgame from cooking for yourself, so I'll stick around the kitchen over the next few days to help smooth things over. Oh, so he's not leaving the kitchen after all? I believe there's some spare kitchenware here at the inn. Boss, would you mind? Of course, of course. I'll take care of it. Whew. All done. Huh. Come, take a look. This was made with your measurements in mind. Seriously? This camera is incredible. You'll miss your true calling. It was it him himself that repaired the stairs outside? It was so long ago. Oh, it's nothing. A little handicraft and elbow grease goes a long way. All right, Yan Shao. I'll leave you to take it from here. You really went to all the trouble of building a new stovetop? What was wrong with the original? Boy, you really hate when people touch your stuff, huh? No, no, it's nothing like that. As Boss always says, hire who you trust and trust who you hire. I just thought the original setup might be a little, um, tall for you. Oh, everyone looks short compared to you. I don't think it'll be that big of a problem. Ahem. <clears throat> uh, anyway, as I was saying, cooking for guests is different from cooking for yourself. Not only do you have to execute on taste, aroma, and appearance, but you also need to ensure speed, precision, and consistency. Having the right equipment is a big part of that. Ill-suited equipment doesn't just make the job more tiring, it also slows you down. And paying customers don't have unlimited patience. Sometimes cooking is all about being well prepared. That's how you ensure speed. Okay, and what about precision and consistency? Ah, precision all comes down to using your eyes. Where to slice into a particular cut of meat, how much oil to use, how to tell when a dish is done cooking. When you cook for yourself, you can always add salt if it's too bland or add water if it's too salty. You can tweak the taste as you go, but in a restaurant, there's not that much room for trial and error. I'm not sure worry about that. Worst case scenario, Paimon can deal with any subpar dishes by making sure they get properly disposed of. <laughs> The final thing you have to focus on is consistency. You have to be able to handle the most challenging orders with the same level of technique and skill as the easiest ones. This is particularly important when you have guests from all over, each with their own tastes and preferences. You have to cater to their own dietary needs while also giving them the opportunity to enjoy our local delicacies is making Paimon's head spin. <laughs> Don't worry. Matter of fact, someone as well-traveled as you may even have a better handle on it than me once you get started. And of course, I'll be around to help you over the next few days. I don't think we'll have any trouble making all our guests feel right at home. Alright. Will this be here? This won't be here forever, right? This looks way better than it was before. There's no time to lose, so let's get started. 
I imagine you probably have a good handle on the cooking side of things already. What you need to pay attention to is remembering each table's order. Try not to get them mixed up. Oh, Pinot's memory is like a steel trap! This is gonna be a cinch! And the end of the day... But you see the one that goes down there to serve uh, the tables as well? What ticket are we on again? Table 1 was onions, but no chilies. Table 2 was chilies, but no onions. And table 3 was... Uh... Table 3 was... Chilies, but... Hold the chilies? If only we had pen and paper, right? I'll guess whenever I finish eating, snap out of it, Paimon. Was Paimon just sleep floating? You've been talking also since about halfway through the day. Ugh. We didn't even get a break in the middle. Paimon's brain has turned to mush. Is it always this busy here? No, but this is peak season. You both did a mighty fine job for your first time serving guests at the inn. Luckily, all our customers were familiar faces this time around, so we didn't get any strange requests. Otherwise, today would have been even more challenging. No strange request? Someone asked for almond tofu drizzled in soy sauce. Even Paimon has never tried that combination! <laughs> it's a wide world out there. People have all kinds of different tastes. Being able to cater to all is the real essence of Liyue cuisine. Also, the thing about requests is that they're usually very specific. So as long as you do what they asked, you're unlikely to have any issues. What's really tricky is when guests give you free reign to do anything you want. Uh, excuse me, are you still open by any chance? Huh? Hmm. Paimon knows that voice. <gasps> Let's go check it out! Uh, what should we do? It doesn't look like anyone's here. Uh, if only we'd gotten here a bit sooner. It's alright. If we start building a campfire now, we'll be eating before too long. Right. Besides, if anyone's to blame, it's Linny. So busy being a greedy culture vulture that he lost track of time. Paimon? So, is the Traveler here? Greetings. Traveler, Paimon! What a nice surprise! Paimon was gonna say the same thing! We're just lending a helping hand at the inn. You'll feel the three of them in. So that's how we ended up here. But what about you guys? Don't tell us. Uh, father sent you on another mission? No, quite the opposite, actually. We're in Liyue on vacation. And while we're here, I thought a cultural tour might be in order. Uh, uh, father said we deserve some rest after everything that happened recently. Otherwise, it could jeopardize our next mission. It's not every day we get this kind of opportunity. Lenny thought it might be fun to spend some time in Liyue, especially since it's lantern right season. And the cultural tour Lenny mentioned? We could hardly pass up the opportunity to watch a Liyue-style magic show. Although, I think they call it Conjuring here. Uh, Can we see what? In our time here, we've seen Conjuring tricks incorporated into a Liyue opera show. And even a wushu dance. It was amazing. So, we decided to stay here for a few more days to see what other forms of inspiration this land might have in store for us. We visited Granny Roshin in Chingsa Village not long ago, and today we continued our cultural tour in the area around here. In the end, though, we lost track of time. We haven't even eaten anything yet. <laughs> and speaking of eating, as you know, seafood is a big part of both Liyue and Fontaine cuisine, but it's cooked very differently here. 
We simply had to try some local seafood after coming all this way. That's another reason why we decided to extend our trip. Oh, need any recommendations? What have you tried so far? That fish one with the misleading name. Sounds bland, but it's drowning in hot chilies. Oh, you mean black back perch soup? You're right, the name doesn't give much away. <laughs> it looked and smelled so appetizing that Lynette took a huge mouthful. Blissfully unaware that she was about to set her mouth on fire, she could barely speak for the rest of the day after that. Uh, luckily, that wasn't a huge adjustment for her. That was different. What? Aren't you guys hungry too? Uh, yes, a little. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, I'm ready to eat. Traveler, I'm afraid we'll have to send you back to the kitchen now. No problem, what would you like? Hmm, good question. I doubt we'll be able to decipher the menu, so why don't you recommend something? You should be pretty familiar with our tastes. Have we ever aged together? Okay, I'll figure something out. Uh, one more thing. Please, if you have a heart, don't make it spicy. But it will be the same for all of them. I thought the black back perch stew was actually pretty tasty. Mm. And now that you know it's spicy, you won't be caught off guard, right? Why don't we give it another chance? Once was more than enough. <laughs> Fontaine, huh? No wonder they can't handle too much spice. Still, if we make the food too bland, they might as well be eating back home. What well, do you recommend? Hmm. There's this crab and shrimp stir-fry I know that could work. It's quite heavily seasoned, but it's a lot milder than it looks. It has a light but really satisfying flavor. Ooh, that sounds perfect! What's it called? <laughs> well, this is where it gets interesting. They call it the Palace Jewels. The crab roe is supposed to look like pearls of gold, and the shrimp meat like chunks of jade. It gets green? That's pretty enigmatic name. Here's the recipe. When you're ready, go ahead and give it a try. Alright. That's the recipe you learn. In each challenge of receiver of friends from afar, you must continuously prep, mix, and cook to make a dish that the guest wants. After you begin prepping, the indicator on the slider will move back and forth between each end. When indicator points to the corresponding area on the button to mark one instance of success. Uh, next thing you hold the button, just hold to make the indicator move over slightly in the wind. Um, the indicator points to the property areas, release the button to mark one instance of success. After you begin cooking, the indicator on the slider will move back and forth each time. The indicator, same as usual. Uh, once cooking is complete, you can plate and decorate the dish. Three elements of dishes can be decorated, the tableware, accessories, and add-ons. Each element has several decorations to choose from. This doesn't look like that fancy of a place for which you have all of that. Crab row like pearls of gold, shrimp meat like chunks of jade. <laughs> Whoever wrote this recipe had quite the imagination. Mm hmm Let's see. Start cooking. Alright, so a fresh dish cooking shrimp, the rose, the trial, people say crab roll, bread and gold, okay. Too much text. Jewel table fit Ah, maybe this will help. Uh the crab roll shines brighter than gold, the shrimp glimmers like gems, form a jewel table fit for pass. No. But okay, so I have to set this up afterwards. 
as fancy as it can be, since it's like for a palace. Isn't he holding the blade up? Uh, ah, space. The travel thing, detailed shrimp. Mix it, hold and release. Prepare the bird eggs and flour and a base to the shrimp meat. Ah, okay. That makes sense. Meet with base obtained. Good, that was just the right time to pick out of the fire. Uh, okay, vessel, uh, soap ornaments. Well, this is kind of golden, but I, I find this one fancier. Does it matter? Oh, wasn't it? In springs red and shadow, the Oreos red brilliance, the moon like red silk, autumn leaves, and draw. Mm, I guess red silk sounds fancier. Flourishing petals, mountains above mountains. Uh, clouds adorn the sunrise. Get the jade. Umbrito joy. Stable balance. Finchy cake. Uh, brilliant lotus. Mm, I guess. This looks fancier. But does this matter? enough for them all hmm. I didn't bring all um. ah yes we meant to say you two must be tired after a long day of work do you want to eat with us oh now that you mention it Paimon is a little hungry well, if you insist, then who are we to refuse? <laughs> we'll still let our guests enjoy the first bite. Oh, right! Of course, you're still our customers. Uh, why aren't you eating? The sauce looks a little overpowering. Oh, uh, according to Liu at custom, it's probably good table manners to let someone else go first. But then nobody would ever eat. <clears throat> Looks delicious, traveler. I guess I'll dig in first. Here goes. What is it? Do you need some water? No. It's delicious. The flavor is so pure. It's drenched in sauce, but somehow it just enhances the natural flavor of the seafood. T try it for yourselves. Um, uh, all right. <laughs> what is that? Crab rope? Yep, you have quite the palate, Lynette. No wonder it pairs so well with the shrimp meat. I've never seen it prepared this way before. According to the creator, 
chewy crab. Compliment succulent shrimp making a spectacular seafood ensemble with a succulent flavor and luscious mouthfeel. The crab roe glitters like pearls of gold, and the shrimp shines like chunks of jade. Hence its name, the Palace Jewels. So that's where the name comes from. Huh. I suppose it's quite fitting then. Huh. Was Paimon always this well spoken? She just memorized what the resp said. She's just regurgitating what someone. Yeah, let's use the word regurgitating while they're eating. This dish must be right up your alley, Lynette. Uh huh? Uh, it's half gone already? When did that happen? Probably when you were busy yapping away. I heard that in Liyue. The biggest compliment you can pay to the chef is to leave a clean plate. It's delicious. Thank you ever so much. Wait, don't fight over it! Hey, leave some for Paimon! We can make more. I think... I'm finally getting the hang of chopsticks. Practice makes perfect, huh, for a minute? Uh, yeah. Well, Linny and Lynette picked it up in no time, but they're naturally dexterous. Makes Unlike sense. me, it's taken me a lot longer, but I'm slowly getting there. Oh, uh, speaking of chopsticks, in one of the shows we've seen here, someone performed a conjuring trick using a bowl and chopsticks. So, if I want to be a good magician's assistant, I need to keep practicing. Could be an... Lynette's not usually so forthcoming about what she likes, but this time, well, she's expressed it in more ways than one. I guess you've rubbed off on her too. <laughs> or maybe your cooking is simply too delicious to resist. The next time our paths cross in Fontaine, you'll have to fire up your cooking skills for my other siblings as well. How does that sound, oh great master chef? Whatever, say we're a magician, whenever we're free, just set a date. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, then, I'll have to clear my schedule. She <laughs> checking the cat. Calorie surplus detected. Digestion mode engaged. I never seen you eat so much. We saw her having tea once, I yeah. guess. Well, Linny and I are usually careful about what we eat, because we have to stay in performance shape. That, plus it's generally bad manners to overindulge at the dinner table. Hey, but what's up? once in a while, it's nice to treat yourself in the company of family. Besides, if I'd waited until my brothers were finished trying to outpolite each other, <laughs> the food would have gone cold. This... Okay. Mm, no. Okay, I thought maybe she'd mention something. So your friends like the dish, huh? Well done! Not bad at all for your first day on the job. There'll be more to come, so keep it up. To... No, they're gone already. Alright, so... Six. Morning. The boss tells me that both new and returning customers have nothing but good things to say about you. <laughs> I have to admit, I was a little worried about throwing you right into the deep end, but it looks like you've got what it takes to handle the day to day here. So it should be plain sailing. Well, just as long as we don't run into any extremely picky customers with unreasonably specific requests. Oh, have you had someone like that before? Come on. Of course. 
The worst are those old scholars who have barely cooked a day in their life, but think reading a stack of books on the topic makes them the expert. They criticize you for no reason, claiming your cooking method isn't faithful to the original, or that the flavor profile isn't authentic because you used an ingredient that wasn't in their beloved centuries-old version of the recipe. This is Wang Shuin. Hmm. It does have the look and feel of a time-honored establishment. I know the voice. Oh, innkeeper! We'll have each of your signature dishes, please. As fast as you can serve them. The most Will expensive you? ones. Are you Farzan! Oops. Uh, Madam Farzan. <laughs> oh, my. Traveler, Paimon. Whatever are you doing here? We could ask you the same thing. Where'd you suddenly get the funds to go sightseeing? And to order the most expensive things on the menu? <laughs> I'm not here to sightsee. Exemplary scholars like myself are highly sought after by cruise operators in need of an onboard consultant as they travel the world. Uh, uh, Madam Farzan, please, uh, slow down. Uh, none of us slept last night. How come Madam Farzan still has so much energy? Uh, if she's really over a hundred years old, I don't understand how she keeps going. <sighs> it's all my fault. She's been like this ever since I told her I'd be paying the expenses. Layla! And... Dory? Huh. Never would have bet on this combination. Why don't you all take a seat and catch your breath? You invited Trix C to explain your helping on Temporary the chef, huh? Wow. No rest for the wicked. Well, if the chef here is trusting you to run his whole kitchen, then I've got no doubt we're in for some authentic Leo specialties. So, why are you all in Leo again? Something about being an onboard consultant? I got my hands on a new boat from Fontaine a while ago, equipped with cutting edge navigation technology. If we manage to spread the word, it could have huge business potential. Right now, we're doing some test runs. We sailed from Port Ormos to Rito, then from Rito to Liyue Harbor. Next, we're planning to go to Dornman Port. Oh, Madame Farzan and me were hired to fine tune the compass and other equipment. We sailed around the Sea of Clouds all of last night to put the system through some stress testing. That sounds like illegal overtime. I don't know how. Uh, overtime for which they'll both be fairly compensated. They're both here willingly. The contract is crystal clear on that. You really cover all your bases, don't you? Let Paimon guess. Paying the expenses is part of the compensation, isn't it? No wonder Madame Farozan is going for all the most expensive dishes. <laughs> it's not every day someone tells you to order whatever you like. Now, first up, we'll have the... <clears throat> Farazan, uh, Madame Farazan, that is. While I am more than happy to treat you both to the most expensive dishes on the menu, we must remember that most expensive does not always mean best. I've heard that the most expensive dishes in Liyue are usually either seafood-based or take an exceptionally long time to prepare. Now, I don't know about you two, but after so many days at sea, I don't think I can so much as look at another piece of seafood again for at least the foreseeable future. Huh. That's actually a good point. Not to mention that poor Layla here looks like she's about to faint from hunger. Huh? Oh, that's not because of hunger. Surely the wise and virtuous Madame Farazan could not bear to watch her poor students sit here and waste away. Oh, well, of course I care about my students' well-being, but why do I feel like I'm being tricked? So, let's not order anything that'll take too long to prepare. Aside from that, and seafood, we'll take whatever other expensive dishes you have. Over to you, Traveler! You can have two of the 
Basis dish instead of the most expensive. Seafood and nothing that takes too long to cook. The rest is up to you. Hmm. I had my eye on a Duptus temptation, bamboo shoot soup, and golden shrimp balls. But I suppose they'll have to wait for the next time. But that could be years from now. Oh, Madame Farazan looks so deflated all of a sudden. Um, please still try to choose dishes on the expensive side, okay? Will I have a choice? Because he he chose for me previously. So expensive, but no seafood, and nothing that takes too long to cook. That rules out pretty much our entire menu. Do these people get a kick out of being impossible to please? Oh, that Dory! Is she doing this on purpose? I've been more of the she's. <laughs> this isn't Leoli Pavilion or Shinua Kiosk. This is Wangshu Inn. We don't stock up on rare and exotic ingredients. We only get them in if someone puts in a special reservation. <sighs> well, if we're stuck with regular ingredients and we're on a time limit, there's only one way to bump up the price. And that's by cooking a dish that uses the chef's expertise and creativity to the fullest. As it happens, I know a recipe for something called trembling strings and rushing reeds. It can be whipped up quickly with what we already have in the kitchen. One plate usually goes for 30,000 mora. Quick doesn't have to mean quick and easy. To perfect this dish, you need expert knife work and very precise control over the heat. You have to finely slice several different types of meat into fine threads, knead them together into strips, then gently stir fry them in the pan. What you end up with is a whole variety of flavors that come through layer by layer. This dish is unique in offering a harmonious blend of multiple kinds of meat, all cooked to perfection, while still bursting with their own distinct flavors. Do it right, and you've got a culinary masterpiece in your hands. But if you botch it, it's just a bunch of meat thrown on a plate. Oh, Paimon gets it now! So this dish gets its value not from the ingredients, but the chef's expertise! That's what he said. Do you... Think I'll be able to pull it off? Now don't worry. I can take care of the kneading and other prep work for you. You just focus on bringing it all together. Believe in yourself. You can do this. And if you mess it up, I'm almost to be happy to eat it. <laughs> Legend has it that a master chef once made this dish from five different kinds of meat. It speaks to my lack of skill that I can only handle three. Mm -mm. Okay. on the meat. Season shredded meat. That doesn't look needed, just it's not ugly, but uh, doesn't really matter. 
Mm, this has a nicer contrast with the thing. Um, mm, really wanted something that looks expensive. I don't know. That looks more expensive. That looks more expensive. It doesn't really matter. I guess. Yeah, if I fail there, I'll just probably have to restart. There are no. Please enjoy. Ooh, smells delightful. Oh, we meant to ask. Have you two eaten breakfast yet? If not, why don't you join us at the table? Uh, did Dory just offer us a free meal? When did she become so generous? <laughs> Let's not forget that the biggest business deals are always settled over a meal. Come on, come on, come on, sit down and join us. Everyone dig in. This dish looks simple enough, and I did my research, so surely it can't cost all that much. Worst case scenario, maybe 10,000 mora? This dish had better be worth working overtime all night for. Well, Traveler, this is the moment of truth. Oh, so tired. So sleepy. I just want to eat up and get to bed. Is this foul? Oh, wait. No, the texture is more like shroom boar. We could try using that. There's a different flavor in every bite. And the discerning palate might detect a hint of something smoked, too. Quite marvelous. How is this made? This moment is from the ham. That was my addition. We chose that? Ham? But I don't see any ham anywhere. Oh. Haha, <laughs> so you've noticed. Yep, every single strip is kneaded from several different kinds of meat. Paimon and Yan Xiao put in a lot of effort to make it just right. Uh, so I'm not an expert or anything, but don't different meats have different cooking times? Uh, uh how is everything in this dish cooked to perfection? Well, you see, um, that's a trade secret. It's just a matter of practice and know some special cooking techniques. Wow. So this dish really is one of a kind. That makes the whole trip worth it. By the way, does this special dish have a name? Ah! Paimon forgot to mention that part. The dish is called Trembling Strings and Rushing Reeds. Alluding to the way that the different threads of meat are woven together. And also... The complex layers of flavor, yes? Akin to the harmonies of a musical ensemble. The name, if I'm not mistaken is a Leo idiom that evokes a vigorous orchestral performance featuring both stringed and wind instruments playing together. Mm, quite an apt name for this dish. Uh, how did you know all that? Every student has to master at least 20 languages before they graduate. Wait, is that not a requirement anymore? Uh, huh? Oh. That used to be a thing? Oh! Hyman almost forgot that you're also from her habitat. So, um... Anyway, how much does this dish cost? Oh, don't worry, not too much. That'll be, uh, 30,000 more, please and thank you. 30,000?! <sighs> About that, Paimon, Traveler, I nearly invited you to join us at the table, did I not? I don't believe I committed to paying for you. So, perhaps we could split the bill accordingly? Oh, Paimon knew it was too good to be true. 3,000 more surely isn't an outrageous amount for the most magnanimous Lord Sangama Bay. I'll talk to the boss, we should be able to do a 20% discount. Yeah! As a famous merchant, you've got a reputation to uphold. 
<laughs> but every single mora matters, you know? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll just consider that the cost of learning about this dish. Once I'm back in Sumeru, I'll be sure to find someone to help me recreate the dish. And then, and then, I'll make it all back. Ah, <sighs> I feel so much better now that I've gotten some food in me. Delicious food really does wonders for one's spirit. Never thought you'd take on such a strenuous work. <laughs> My advisor said that young people shouldn't stay cooped up in the academia all the time. Uh, they told me that I should take the chance to get out and see the stars in other skies. Oh, uh, maybe I can think of it as my first internship experience? Oh, but it sure is exhausting. Hmm. Oh. Uh, she could be sleeping now, and the other explained to us. Now, how should I justify a high price tag for a dish without any fancy ingredients? Huh. Maybe start by giving it a fancy sounding name? By the way, the host feel about no seafood and not taking too long to cook. To be honest, you chose one should aim to try to save money, didn't you? Uh. <laughs> I should have known you'd see through me. <sighs> Everyone was exhausted and seasick when I made the offer last night, so I figured they probably wouldn't be able to eat all that much today. Well, you saw how that turned out. I tried placing some limitations on the order to keep costs under control, but you still found a way around my schemes. <sighs> That's what I get for not thoroughly researching the market beforehand. Hey, you're not even paying those too much of a salary. Just treat them fairly next time and don't be so stingy. I want to talk. Paimon, if Laura never get a chance. Well, yeah, but that's why Paimon's qualified to talk about this. <laughs> even though I didn't get to try Adeptus Temptation or Bamboo Shoot Soup, this trembling strings and rushing reeds was still quite impressive. Thank you for making it. I never thought you'd make a job away from any ruins. Well, about that. Even though newfangled contraptions are hardly my cup of tea, Dora's offer was quite enticing. She said that every time we stopped at a new harbor, I'd be free to go and pick out some ancient books at the market and bring them back to Sumeru. <laughs> I couldn't resist an offer like that. So I offered to join for the lowest possible pay to undercut all my Kasharawar competitors. Hmm. We're off to a good start this morning. Keep up the good work. I'm counting on you. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm work flat out to close the time, serving countless customers, and there's two more lines. Who can read all that? Oh, salt, salt, fire, six, 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 Hey, I'm doing fine. What's up? Morning! Time to fire up the stove for another day of customers. Thanks again. With this expression on their belt, works become second Great nature. Great work! Well, you're looking more like a head chef every day. <laughs> Whatever crazy characters come walking through that door, I know you'll be able to handle them. Wait! No! Every time you say something like that, you jinx it! Hey, that's not true. Anyway, I didn't mean it like that. Uh, streaming. I, I've been for a little over a year now. <laughs> Dude, what up, bro? I didn't know you were in Liyue too. 
Ah, it's always nice to run into a broadie and a zooming fellow. Uh, wait, did I say that right? Almost. I think you meant fellow Inazuman abroad, boss. Ah, yeah, 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 that's the one. Yeah, we gotta look out for each other when we're uh, this far yeah. from home. Don't we, Ayato? <laughs> oh, whoa, Checker! What are you doing here? Huh? Oh, hey, Flying Lavender Melon! Uh, of the sky-cleaving white iron variety. <laughs> and my compadre, too! All my buddies in one place! God, today's my lucky day! Say you were gonna knuckle down and earn some more when you got home? How come you're back in Lily so soon? Ah, <laughs> that could wait. As soon as I announce that Arataki Ito is available for hire, they'll be throwing more at me. Right now, I got a more yeah, urgent situation to attend to. I'm in the mood for some good spicy food. Oh, and uh, while we're here, we were gonna also see if Grandmaster Hanakado's okay and whatnot. Hmm. And look on Shinobu's face. Thing. <laughs> you should say, don't ask. What about you? Not Ayato? too long ago, I heard a rumor that someone was hosting an Onikabuto fighting contest in Liwa. Naturally, I came here as soon as I could. <laughs> but, alas, it was too late. Yeah. What? You missed it? Aw, oh, man, what a bummer! Quite the bummer, indeed. <laughs> Though all is not lost. Since you're here, you'll be able to tell me all about it. Sure thing, my man. But uh, uh, let's catch up over some food, huh? Where's the chef anyway? Uh, hey, get the chef out here! I got compadres to feed. Oh, all right. I'm the chef. <laughs> yeah, sure. Me too. Wait, what? Wow, we'll check. I said don't have the money. Really and I'm not interested. Things. Gotta give him some credit for that. What do you mean, chef's another guy? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, compadre. You almost got me there. All right, well, uh, get the chef out here. Maybe I'm going to the kitchen and fetch some lunch. So, uh, may I take your order? <laughs> if you're entertaining guests, I can recommend the palace jewels, a trembling strings and rushing reeds, or boss. Don't forget the budget. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um. Uh, got anything a little more, uh, down to earth? Down to earth? Oh, well, well, we do a mean humbly enough. Real hearty dish with a ton of flavor, and we don't skimp on the portion size either. That'd be the best value for your mora. Humbly enough, huh? Oh, sounds like my kind of grub. We'll take that. No need for anything fancy. We're all friends here. Excellent choice, Ito. I'm no fan of culinary ostentation either. <laughs> Sometimes a bro just knows, hmm? A bro just knows? Yes, a bro just knows! <laughs> bros don't suppose, cause bros just knows! Is this for real? Ah, oh, whatever. Paimon's leaving you guys to it. Oh. Seriously, if I'd blinked, I would have missed a crimson staff. Just launched itself a bloom pruner and sent it flying! I'd expect no less of the bona fide Beetle Battle King himself. It sounds like a truly epoch defining duel. Where is. <sighs> the air was getting stifling, so I made some excuses and <laughs> slipped away. Anyway, thanks for taking the hint earlier. I'll fill you in later. All right. Gotta say, your friend's quite a character. Still, humbly enough isn't that hard to make, so I don't think we'll have any problems with this order. Actually, why is it called humbly enough anyway? A hearty meat dish is a good start, but in Paimon's experience, one humble dish is never enough. Uh, I said it was hearty, but I never said it contained meat. Don't be fooled by the appearance. It's actually just tofu, made to look and taste like meat. Tofu? Wait, tofu's made of beans, isn't it? Old Bullchucker can't eat that. Guess we should get them to pick something else instead. What's the issue? I think I caught the word tofu. 
Wait, what are you doing? The, the kitchen is staff members only. <sighs> Never mind. I'll let it slide. Ma'am, could you possibly ask your boss to order something else instead? <laughs> no one gets my bro Ayato like I do. I hereby declare that humbly enough will be an everlasting symbol of our friendship, or my name ain't Arataki Ito! If it's supposed hey, to look like me, can we just at? use me? Hurry meat? up! I'm almost done recounting the epic adventures of Crimson Staff! Uh, as you can see, changing the order may be a little difficult. Oh, brother, his whole ego is riding on this, huh? Even if we break the news to him, he'd probably rather eat the tofu than eat his words. We're locked in now. We're gonna cook the dish. How about you throw some free appetizers in? Sounds cook good. Dish. I'll make sure he fills up on those. We'll just have to play the rest by ear. Well? I never knew tofu allergy was even a thing. Okay, I'll, I'll handle the appetizers. You take care of the main event. I can help too. Don't worry. I'm qualified. I passed Liyue's senior culinary exam once. Why? Okay, so we will use... If, if it's supposed to look and taste like meat, and we thought it was meat anyway, they aren't avoiding it. Hey, I'm fine. What's up? Okay. Fine. Mm, okay, this doesn't matter. Let's just use something I didn't use yet. Actually, those three I haven't used yet. Mm. Well, the rock is kind of fitting for him. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Humbly enough. You guys don't mess around. Woo! Love me that portion size. Come on, compadre, grab a seat. We're all friends here, so don't hold back. I'm just gonna dig right in. <clears throat> Boss, we should respect the local customs. Here in Liyue, it's polite to let the guests eat first. Polite? Uh, Shinobu, I thought old timey traditions weren't your style. Now that I finished in the kitchen, I'm guess too. Maybe let me dig in first. Huh? Are you kidding me, compadre? Oh, wait, I get it. The food smells so dang good, now everyone's dying to go first. Well, guess I only got my own good taste to blame. Go on, dive in. I'll wait till last. Ah. Uh. You, by my age, you know how yourself. <laughs> you. I see. Finally, it's my turn. Hoo -hoo! I spy a big chunk of deliciousness with my name on it. Wait! Don't. Huh? Wait, what is it now? You've got this spell. You know the drill. Should have warned him first. Well, mostly playing video games. I don't really have much time for anything else besides work. Hey. Okay, here goes. Anyway, so, uh, Paimon forgot to 
tell you the really cool origin story of this dish. Hmm. Origin story? Dude, who cares where it came from? We all know where it's going. <laughs> Am I right? Down the gullet. Uh, well, um, skipping the origin story is like... Like going traveling without a tour guide. Trust Paimon, you'll get way more out of the experience after you hear it. Paimon makes an astute observation. Much as every tea must be appreciated on its own terms, is it not a waste of the chef's goodwill to sample a dish without hearing its tale? My compadre's goodwill, huh? Oh, can't have that going to waste. All right, then. Give me the full story. I'm all ears. That's more like it. Let's start with the ingredients. Actually, no. Let's start with the story of Wang Xuan, which starts with the history of Dihua Marsh. Now's uh. our chance, traveler. I don't really use much this card. I don't really know my my link, my that tag. Got it. Oh, well, it's distracting. You should number begin to double on this. <laughs> Tale of Dihua Marsh hits hard. People in the past had it pretty rough. Makes you appreciate what you got. Humbly enough, yeah, that's a good way to think about life. Darn, there's no sad way to tell so from here. How did we get so off topic? Uh, well, good news is there's only a little bit left. Alrighty, then stuffed. Uh, oh, compadre, Shinobu! Have you been eating this whole time? Save me some dreads, why don't ya? That's it, I'm done waiting. It's my turn to eat. Wait, boss, that's made of... One moment, Ito. I have a small request, if you would be so kind as to consider it. I left home in a hurry and was unable to bring any of my family with me. They've all heard so much about you and are huge admirers of the Arataki gang, so they will be devastated to learn that they missed out on this opportunity. However, if you were willing to let me bring the remaining portion of Humbly Enough back to them, I'm sure it will help to lift their spirits. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Boss, you I gotta do really right by your it, friends. Okay. They're pretty big on that in Liwe. Besides, you did eat quite a lot of the grilled fish while we were waiting for the main course. Including mine and Ayato's. Huh? Oh, those were for you guys? Ah, oh, dang it! I got too carried away telling that story, didn't I? In that case, pass my regards to your fam, bro. El Chefe, can we get the rest of this to go? I don't use, don't really use this card very much, so I don't really know my. Count Crushmore. Instant I know it's kill. Super Geek Broad. I never knew like there were the so many elite beetle fighters channel, in Liyue. But I don't know the number afterwards. You didn't really come for the only couple of fighting contest, did you? <laughs> can you imagine? That would be tardiness of the most unfashionable variety. No, in truth, this trip is part business, part leisure. How come they didn't come to the lantern right then? Every visitor has their own agenda. For some, the festivities are all the more reason to visit. For others, all the <laughs> more reason to avoid the crowds. In any case, one way or another, I seem to have ended up in the right place at the right time. Now, as for the leftover tofu, yes, I'm sure Toma will dispose of it as he sees fit. <laughs> I have to get back to the docks as soon as this meal is done. So, why did you really come to real? Well, uh, thing is... I can explain. Boss recently found work as a sailor, which allowed him to hitch a ride here. <laughs> After the ship docked, he had some free time to do as he pleases. He's been using that time to hang out with Grandmaster Hanakato. Just because he's here already! No other reason! Alright, now, next one. Looks like that's all sorted. Alright. 
Take some time to collect yourself. The next big group is coming in. Je n'ai pas ce genre Eastlink. Next one. How many days are there? Time flies. My burns are almost healed now, so I should be ready to take back the kitchen tomorrow. All right. You've really gone above and beyond these past few days. Last day today. Here's hoping we get through it without incident. Huh. Why does Paimon feel like you just jinxed us again? Best is without instinct, so... There was nothing. We made it. To the evening. It ended up being a pretty smooth day after all. Maybe it's because we've gotten so experienced at running this whole thing. There's we've no come a long way since our yet. first day on the job, haven't we? Hmm. Back then, we were struggling to remember who ordered what. But everything's a piece of cake now. Don't get ahead of yourself. The day's ain't over yet, and so there will be somebody yeah, more stuff. Yeah, but who no? would come by this late in the evening? Uh, actually, now that Paimon hmm. thinks of it, Lenny and his siblings came around about this time the first day, didn't they? Traveler? Paimon? Fancy seeing you two here. Amber? And you and Mika, too! Are you here for dinner? Why so late in the day? We just finished an escort mission for a merchant caravan. The original plan was to make do with some rations for this evening and continue our trek north towards Stonegate. But Captain Yula brought up the fact that none of us have eaten Liyue cuisine for quite some time. We thought we might as well swing by the inn and see if we can still order something. Ooh, so this is Yula's treat, huh? <clears throat> We've been eating the same rations for the entire trip, so I simply thought it was high time we had ourselves a proper meal. Do you have a problem with that? Well, welcome to Aishuling. May I take your order? Good question. What should we get? Hmm? Wait a sec, why are you taking our order? The Traveler's been filling in for the chef here. You came at just the right time. You'll be the last customers to enjoy her cooking before the original chef takes back the rings. Wow, really? Good thing Eula suggested we come here. I wouldn't want to miss this. So, what shall we get? Hmm, I'm not as familiar with Liyue cuisine as I used to be. Mika, Yula, what are you in the mood for? Anything goes. I'm just looking forward to trying the honorary knight's cooking for myself. I'm sure it'll be a great learning opportunity for me. Hmm, something small, I suppose. We have to hit the road again after we eat. Beyond that, anything goes. Wasn't it your idea to come here, though? Eesh, this is like getting blood from a stone. All right, guess it's up to you, Anne. You name it, we'll cook it. Huh? Then I guess... Eh, I don't really mind either. Anything goes. Ah! I'm sorry. I really can't think of anything off the top of my head. I mean, I could pick from the menu at random, but I'd feel more comfortable leaving the chef to choose. Oh, one thing. I know I said I don't mind what we have, but no alcohol, please. Neither of them can drink. It's a real pity. Uh, I've still got some sparkling water here. <laughs> uh, no, there's no need for it. Thanks. Anything goes, huh? Oh dear. This is a chef's worst nightmare. With no idea of your customer's palates, you're left to make a wild guess. Still, now that you've worked in the kitchen for so many days, I have faith that you'll be able to figure it out. Go on, show them what you've got. I choose... oh. 
let me think, what do they like? What could they be craving? I don't know, don't they always eat swim at them? Judging from the look on your face, you've already figured it out. All right then, go ahead and show them what you've got. But this shit is something different from the usual. Anything goes. Simple dish and flavors, rice. I shouldn't call anything goes. Oh uh, well, let's use the ones I haven't yet. No, it was the, the dish I have used the first one. Mmm, this is delicious! Perfectly seasoned, and even the rice is bursting with flavor. Oh, yeah. Nothing like a piping hot meal served straight from the stove. I've missed this. <laughs> You've put the finest Favonian field rations to shame, and that's no mean feat. So, tell us, traveler, what's this one called? It's Cubs! Um, Pinot's guessing we can't just call it anything goes, right? Oh, hell, Paimon doesn't know how to explain this dish at all! It's got no name, it's just basic ingredients simply cooked! Basic ingredients simply cooked? Really? I could have sworn that you put something fancy in here, or gave it some kind of chef's magic touch. This isn't the finest dish in the world, but it's the one you need right now. Not the finest dish in the world, but the one they need right now! Okay, Not the dish deserve. Time on. What do you mean? Is the dish you need? Oh, you've been on the road for a long time. You've only been eating rations the entire time. So you mean, we only think this is delicious because we're so hungry? Hmm. There's got to be more to it than that. Perhaps the fact that the aroma of freshly cooked hot food is a welcome change from cold pre-prepared rations. Oh. Kind of like the feeling of waking up to the smell of freshly baked bread in the morning? Huh, that makes sense. Yeah, it's almost like we're back at Good Hunter again. Uh, but Good Hunter's in Mondstadt. Why make a point of trying Lyric Cuisine if you can't even taste the difference? Oh, I'm not talking about the taste. I just meant the feeling of comfort, you know? It's like the feeling of coming home. Comfort. Coming home. Well, Yan Xiao did say we want to make our guests feel right at home. You want to make sure these dishes are highly subjective. Everyone's got their own preferences. But a chef skaters through all co commerce, we gotta put ourselves in their shoes. And there's a chef's passion for putting smiles on customers' faces. So, in other words, the secret ingredient is passion? Despite how terribly cliched that sounds, I'll admit that it holds true for this meal. 
<laughs> well played. Mark my words, I'll remember this recipe. Okay, but you can't really have a recipe without a name though, right? Have we come up with a name for this dish yet? Henry really thought the farm, do you have any ideas? Hmm. How about right at home? The rations we brought were adapted for my signature moon pies. To come up with something even tastier. I gotta hand it to you. You did a great job. Still, please do drop by and try a few Stormcrest pies next time you're in town. I insist. Drop by. I don't know where's her house. Hmm. Amber? Ah, uh, sorry. I zoned out just now. Didn't see you coming. Got something on your mind? Yeah. That food you cooked for us just now? It reminded me of the meals my grandfather used to make for me. I thought I'd forgotten how they tasted, but it all came rushing back. He used to make Liyue dishes all the time. I'd do my outrider training with him until the evening, then wait patiently at the dinner table. I'd sit there with the smell of delicious food wafting in from the kitchen, waiting for him to finally emerge with the goods. Sometimes we'd have Eula around for dinner, and even though she'd always find something to complain about, I could tell she really enjoyed the food. Oh, so maybe she remembers too. And maybe that's why she suggested you come here for dinner. <laughs> Your words, not mine. Don't ask her about it. She'll only give you another earful. Back when I was on the expedition with the Grand Master, I was often put in charge of cooking. Under the circumstances, I could only cook some pretty crude meals. But everyone still enjoyed them a lot. Maybe passion was the secret ingredient then too. Oh, we're done? There you are. Thank you for all of your hard work over the past few days. My pleasure, assuming I'm still being paid, that is. Why wouldn't we? <laughs> Straight down to brass tacks, are we? Here, take it. I've thrown in a little extra as well. Call it a bonus. Hard work is rewarded here. Yay! It's like all the tiredness and stress have suddenly melted away. I'm just lucky you only worked on this job for a few days. At the rate you were progressing, a few more weeks and I think I might be made redundant. Well, I for one look forward to enjoying your cooking many more times in the future. <laughs> Anytime. Bring some friends with you next time and I'll show you all what Smiley Yunshao can do when working with both hands intact. Great! Although, just to be on the safe side, cook carefully in the meantime. You may have just jinxed it again. <laughs> Well, that's still there. But well, you are back to your regular dialogue. I can't reduce this one. Uh, read details. Ah, there. Ah, it changes there. Oh, but it doesn't change the layout of the plate or anything. Okay, so now let's Every just... journey has... Uh, 13 days, plenty. Nothing yet. Mm, no. Final day. Oh, hey, no, I didn't get that today yet. Uh, no, there was another of those. Alright, so now I'm off. <laughs>